called Revenge of the Fallen. Yeah. Okay. Revenge of the Fallen. Them wings gonna come up. God. I took my roof off at the red light. Niggas don't even know what he's talking about. Trap, trap, trap. Right. Yeah, yeah. He taking his roof off. He, he putting his eye, he taking his eyelids up and he making it do what it do. God. Check God. this out. This is, what, this is what I want you to see. Walk them into what you about to show them, bro. Because they'll be like, what? what, what this, this, he's going to talk about a a, 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 um, a a mathematical equation having to do with uh, Albert Einstein, who we just talked about. But remember, Transformers scene was shot here at the Milwaukee Art Museum. God. The Milwaukee Art Museum, we already know what that is. It's a Burke Bryce O'Leal, which basically is a, a, a shade. Facts. Basically an eyelash. Right. Facts. Facts. I don't want to keep going, but y'all watch the scene yourself. It's not going to play loud enough for them here. But right, right. Samuel Witwicky was listening about a theory with Einstein, and he said Einstein was wrong. Here's the thing. They, they know somebody in Milwaukee going to find out, bro. They knew. It's wrote in the movies. They, they put it in the Hulk, too. They said Milwaukee. A uh, one a man has drunk too much of the, drunk too much of that gam that uh that that soda and he got gamma sickness. What's gamma? He can see past the spec. The, he can see past the visible part of the color spectrum. God. But you but 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 I can't. But guess what? The Lord listens to us because once you once you call him on the phone, he's gonna answer. Facts. Once you see that phone ringing and you stop that ring, he on that phone with you. You E.T. like a motherfucker. You phoning home. Remember, they had to make a dial-up modem in the movie E.T. because his eyes was blue. Why did they ban E.T.? Because it was too many secrets in that shit. And they put that shit on the shelf and probably watched that shit a million times see, and said, yeah, was, put it back out. These niggas too stupid. That was one of those movies where it was so funky they didn't realize it till they sat back and watched it. And they said, and, we, right. And, and it wasn't for the time being while they shut it down. It was for coming, for me. For, dude, for right. dude, dude, them right here. Right, because they knew that some at some point, Django was going to come gonna on. Risk, they weren't going to risk that, bro. That was too Bro, funky, listen, bro. listen. What's your mama's name? Hold on, Olivia. What's her nickname? Jane. I'm going to mess you up. This how this, how this work. Her name is Jane. Come on. Now, in the movie Django, when he walked up to the bar, that Edomite said, "What's your name?" He said, "Django." Yeah. He said, "He said spell it." He said, "D G A N G O." He said, "The N, the D is silent." So it's Django. It's Django. Django. Now, the movie called Django Unchained. Right. If I went to work every day. Would I have ever uncovered them secrets? Nope. Right. I had to be unchained. I couldn't have been no. I couldn't have been no employee and do this. Cause you need the time, bro. The diligence. You have to wander around downtown, dazed out of your mind, staring at fucking buildings all day, hoping that God showed you something. That's how it happened. It's, leisure time. Yeah, Google gives leisure time in the in the uh, park. Yeah. Now look, why I'm, it's getting that you have leisure time in there, bro. Uh, with the with the dude, with the uh, apocalypse, apocalypse dude, said about leisure time. I the articles, the articles that I read, the the paper trails that I follow, I'm not gonna make any money doing this. This this see that's the thing. This this knowledge that we putting together, it has no financial um, reward. The reward comes in conversation. Right. Spiritual conversation. I said, hey, did you know Tim Sullivan? Who owns... Yeah. Give, give him that, bro. Go ahead. 
uh, Ecclesiasticus oh, chapter. Okay. So I'm going to I'm 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 lead you in there. What you holding? Ecclesiasticus chapter 38, verse 24. Before the son of the elder brings that out. He got way too much time on his hands to fuck y'all over. He got more time than 99.9% .9 of people on earth. And with the time he got, he has no choice but to bust down this bullshit. And that's the secret I was, to getting grape drink. You got to have time. I was lollygagging when I saw Giannis with the grass miniskirt on. But think I'm about like, it. Think about this. I, what the, think about it. You got to have time. Great drink understand you got to have time. Also great drink knows in order for you to have time, you got to be you got to have idle hands. We are trained to work 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 and work and work. We are trained to occupy those 24 hours doing nothing but staying busy. He's in the 1% that has idle hands and leisure time, which means what fucking shit that I can get my nose in today type I'm shit? I'm going to be totally honest. <laughs> I probably work 30 hours a month. That equates to two hours se a day. Seven, hour seven, a day. seven and a half hours a week. People work, yeah. people work that more. Oh, people three days. people yeah. work more than that <clears throat> in a day. Yeah. And he works that a week. I work. 30 hours a month. But I make a salary as somebody who work shit. Full time. Full time. Full time. Full time. Ish, can you give them, this is why he's able to see the devil in the details. Bro, I, when mm -hmm. I, I laugh, I'll be like, it don't feel like I work at all. I got, okay. If you got a whole household, kids and a wife who get up every day and go to work, and then you land in the bed, if you, just talked about right, this. if you don't understand what the fuck you doing, that shit will fuck with you. You'll be like, man, what the fuck? What kind of bum ass nigga am I, man? <laughs> man my family, they all out I'm laying around this motherfucker. I ain't just laying around this motherfucker. I ain't got to do shit. Let me, let me, <clears throat> allow me to, <clears throat> let me, let me, allow me to explain bro's situation. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna get a kick out of this. Oh yeah, and by the way, Saran gave me a hundred today. See, all praise to y'all by Right, Shemmy right. Shemmy. I was like, shit, uh, good looking, boss. All praise to y'all by Shimmy. I was shot. Check this out, right? Leisure time. My, my man's finna bring that out. But let me just show you the uniqueness in his leisure time. Check this out, right? I'm gonna sit up as I said this deep. I can't make this up. It's four adults in this house. Three of them get up every day and go to work. I said it's four adults in this house, y'all. Three of them get up and get to the grind every day, right? When they at work, he in this house like, damn, I'm cheating life. Why? Because he's working, but it don't feel like it because like this is how my day will go. Bro, your life, your, your yeah. lifestyle setup, bro, All praises is to you. How amazing, bro. Because the Lord, <laughs> I don't know why he did what he did. But hold on, stop. I let me, don't. Let me, let me stop you. Now, he works. He told you seven and a half hours a week. So he do work. But it ain't even part time. But here's the thing. My my rate is two fifty an hour. About two two hundred dollars, two fifty hours, something like that. This is this is this is the genius in him not work working a full time job like everybody else. Of two hundred. When the son, daughter, and mom come home, right? They ain't just coming home. They coming home to a spit shine, everything clean, smell good, home, right? The mortgage on this home, no worries, no file, no worries. The money he make, whatever you want to do with it. The money the daughter make, whatever you want to do with it. Whatever the money the wife make, whatever you want to do. It's that's, paid. That's how I pay him back. How the fuck can you do that working seven and a half hours a week, bro? Lord got you set up, man. Bro, <laughs> sometimes I be thinking I don't even work seven hours a week. I you, might only work like four. Bro, what my point is this. 
The Lord has set dude up where he can do the Lord's work 95% of the time, get into shit to bust down a grape drink, and still have 5% of his time to take care of his family. And look, where look, else in the world somebody right, can do that? Hey, bro? look, look, this is what happened, right? You do realize in this walk of life, we are incorruptible bodies that don't last. Absolutely. So here I am, I'm running around, I got this great health and all this stuff. And then I had problems focusing, which was no big deal. So I went to get glasses and come to find out I had glaucoma. God. So look at how look at how beautiful the Lord is. Awesome. Now, I've openly admitted to everybody that when I started to stare at the sun, I ain't had no visual problems. Absolutely. So after two years of going hard, I noticed I started having some type of visual problems when I be trying to focus. I go to the eye doctor. The eye, I tell the eye doctor after they do their assessment. And, and But guess what? Nothing was wrong with my eyes from anything. So here I am thinking I cook my eyes. Remember the white man told you, you look at the sun, you go blind. That was a lie. That was a lie. That was a blatant lie. Now, how do I know my eyes aren't damaged from, from looking at the sun? Well, there's a couple ways that they can tell. If you can be restored to 2020 vision with uh -huh. glasses, you have no structural disease problem with your eye. You have what everybody else has, age-related stiffening of the lens. That's what caused my visual changes. But I had glaucoma before I started looking at the sun. I just uh -huh. didn't know it. It comes in and it creep up on you slow. So when I went to the, they did an eye pressure test. That's how they found out. Had glaucoma. It didn't have, I didn't have no damage done to my eyes. So look at what, so look. So say I'm wrong about staring at, not staring at the sun because that's not what you do. I was wrong about that. You you look at the sun. You, you only got to stare at it long enough to see the ring. Right. Once you see the ring, you just, you play video games with it. Like, you don't stick a cartridge in the video game and leave your hand on top of it. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You, you Once it's in there, you can take your hand off. So, I was doing like this. And stare. That ain't what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just ride past where you go and extract the information like you stick in a straw. Just wet in the straw. God. Imagine just taking a straw and dipping it in the cup and pulling it out. That's it. Not sticking it in there, stirring it around there, just leaving it in there. No, you just go, bop. That's it. You can turn me on with just a touch. Just touch it. Bam. So if the sun right there, you need to collect information. You, it, don't, it, don't, it don't take no time. No download speed like that. God. If it's right there, it's like that. Just make sure you got the pen. Stick it in there. And put the, put the money in your pocket. You go. My dumb ass would be sitting at the light for three minutes. Like, God. You know what I'm saying? That, I was doing it wrong. But it's still, from what the doctor's saying, it didn't cause any damage. You know, but I see just, I see 2020. I can see, I can see good without these. I see 2050 without them. Right. I see 2020. The doctor put me on eye drops for glaucoma. And of course, you know, we naturalists. So I did my research on the eye drops, but it's like we don't trust doctors. And he's always like, okay, what do you want to do? You want to not take the eye drops, and then in 15, 20 years, if you live, you're going to be blind. God. So I decided to take the eye drops, all praises to Yahweh, Shimmy, I was shy. Because really, at the end of the day, it's up to him what's going to happen to my vision over the, over the years. But no, I see just fine. I don't have no vision problems like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm okay. good. I can see better than everybody down here probably. Absolutely. Trust me. These motherfuckers right here. And with the time you got on your hands. Oh, glasses cannot correct vision hurt by glaucoma. No. Eye diseases are not corrected by glasses. God. That's how I knew. That's how they knew I didn't have no problem like that. You got that script-ish? Yeah. I just wanted to keep going because, you know, that was a big deal, you know, and I had like an ego issue because I'm like, dang, I'm just staring at the sun. So now I have to bear the stigma of being the one who did it to myself. But come to find out. Come to find out the Lord just stopped me from going blind 20 years from now if he decided to let me live.
because my dumb ass was just going to keep on living, keep on living, keep on living. And the doctor told me at, at some point, gonna, you would have been like, you was going to wake up and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, man, it seemed like I, he said, you're going to start bumping into shit because he said, you're going to start losing this. Time. You lose your peripheral vision and then it come in. So you might not notice it at first, yeah. but they gave me the test. Right. So they make you look forward like this and they do all this shit over here. And if you can see it, then they know you can still see from the, I, my, I ain't lost no vision. He was like, man, I, you, you should be glad you came in at 47 because had you not come in over the next few years, it ate your shit up. <laughs> Give him that leisure scripture. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, yes. this, is, this is why dude can see the great drink, great drink in the details and when most of us are not able to do that. Plus, um, yeah, what? Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 38 verse 24. The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. Stop How did right I learn there? Andrew Cecilia's name? What nigga? It probably ain't another nigga in this goddamn city can answer that question. You can put a million dollars on the table. Like, who is the CEO of U.S. Bank? It's a million for you. The motherfucker gonna start crying. Give Big G, G, G from G Clipper probably don't even know. Give it to him again. The first part of that, and then I want your bro, your dad, to expound. Then give him the second half. Of it. The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. Can you expound on that, bro? I just sat on my ass so much to where I couldn't do nothing but be forced to learn because. If you look, Maslow was a fake drink too. God. If you look at Maslow, and oh, that's such a cliche. If if you notice, ever since I started wearing glasses, I sound more uh, cadence friendly, intellectual diction, uh, exuberant um, linguistics. You feel me? You know, hey, I'm more intelligent now. When I cuss, I cuss with emphasis. This is me. I... Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> now see, I don't do that no more. I, see, I do this now. I like this now. So, hey, you know, with the situation being what it is. <laughs> see my hand? Hold on now. With the situation being what it is. What it is. What's that second I'm half? Saying. What's the second half? How your dad break it down? <laughs> We can bring it all the way out and then your dad uh, The wisdom the of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. And he that has little business shall become wise. Can you expound on that, bro? I mean, it's self-exclamatory. If you sitting around long enough, you're going to invent something. What did I invent? I invented thought. After I invented thought, I didn't invent thought. I did invent thought because niggas don't think. Absolutely. In my P nigga brain, I invented thought by why I was my son. I said, damn, what's this? Thinking, I think I always thought about shoes right. and gear right. and how to be fly. My mind started thinking different. Like, get this book. See, right? Go get a book and think about that. Speaking of a book and speaking of and speaking of thinking, he don't need to get it. I got it. A lot of y'all need to get it if you want to get your think tank operating. The book is called As a Man Think It. He don't, he's already operating in that space. This book was wrote many years ago, and a lot of prominent people began to get their think tank working based off the book. He already doing this shit. I have <laughs> what, what you, you ever seen? And that's scriptural, too. I'm going to get that. I'm going to bring that the, out, The too. Lord primed me to be a prophet. I'm going to tell you why. God. You ever seen um, the Karate Kid, the first one? Where dude was making Daniel clean up the house and do this and do that and do this and do that. And then when it was time for him to teach him karate, he realized he already knew most of it. Because the job that he was doing that had absolutely nothing to do with karate Proverbs taught him Proverbs karate. 23, seven. That's kind of what happened to me. Like, I'm Daniel's son. The things that I've already done in my life just played into my characteristics as a prophet it turned me it is the prophet prophetic god right god. because it walked me straight in like the bike the lord knew i had to ride that bike you can't do this prophecy in a car facts facts he put my body in this shape to be able to do it 
I only look good to throw people off. That's it. Yeah, he don't give a fuck about that. He He don't give a fuck about the outward appearance, but he know they do. Right. So niggas niggas is simple. Remember in God's plan video, the old dude said, I remember when Wesley Snipes and Denzel was young. They they had all their money, he said, but but I ain't got nothing. But I look good. Yeah, it's a beautiful he said, this what a president supposed to look like. And it is. But don't nobody. That was. They snuck that in there. And it went. People think that he was saying. To boost himself up. Right. Now he's kicking some games. No. Why don't a a president. Look the most amazing. Out of all motherfuckers. In his body. Why he don't. He got all the time in the world. To do it. That's why Drake, in one of the biggest videos ever in the history of the world, God's plan, and we love God. Facts. He has an old man saying, this is what a president is supposed to look like. Y'all been lied to. Y'all let these lazy motherfuckers control y'all. These motherfuckers don't even do nothing but talk shit. I'm an old ass bomb in shape. Right. Denzel, they don't look like me. Well, I thought that money supposed to make you the shit. He said, I ain't got nothing, but look at me. Basically, you don't need shit in this world to look good. Matter of fact, all most of the time. Mo- all you need is time. Is can you please give them this that Proverbs 23 and 7? This is just an extension of where we're trying to get to where dude already at, man. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. That's Hold it. on. When I told you that white man popped up on me today, mm-hmm. just talking, yeah. he said that. Not in them exact words, but the same thing. Yeah, you was telling Just reiterate. Yeah. Now look at that, bro. I ain't See, even know about that. See, and we I had to brought you out to have you bring that out. To be honest. You can't make this shit up around these parts. Me and Omen sees it. Ismail, this is what Ismail don't even understand. What? Man, I don't want to say too much crazy stuff on this video because they'll think we crazy. You don't even realize they ain't doing no concert at Summerfest. That dog, <laughs> it's way more going on at Summerfest tonight than you think. Like, <laughs> it's motherfucker looking for us to show up. Hey, they, they, they waiting for you. Yeah. They yeah. know you coming and guess who coming to see you. Damn, this is gonna sound. I don't care at this point. Great drink. Because I know what's going on in Henry Meyer Festival Park with a $51 million edition, biggest edition ever. Uh, uh, put Foo Fighters being the first ones, one year, one day after I saw the sun ring, you'll pick the Foo Fighters. Foo me fake. Yeah, remember they kicked him out last year. They forced him out last year. They, they wouldn't even let me come down there last year. Remember when I was down there in 2020? The dude told me to go home. Yeah. He said, man, why you come down here every day? Just go home. <laughs> <laughs> Is it On the loudspeaker. <laughs> and I was at the American Family stage looking at that motherfucker because I be looking at that shit from the aerial view. Right. I go on so Google and look at going out there bust them lights down. Right. Ish. All they did was make the market, not the markets, the American Family Amphitheater, which was a $51 million renovation, the Damn. biggest ever done the Summerfest. They did it in 2020. They finished Ooh, it in 2021. Nasty. They opened it August. They, no, they opened it July 30th, that's 2021. The one they, that's covered, ain't it? Right, that's the one where they extended the roof. Right. Because it looked like a black dude with an afro that wasn't eating watermelon. So the joke is, you eating watermelon, but if you find out about the American Family Amphitheater, then you're a generator. That's why they took out the Harley stage and made it generate, because I'm not a, I'm not a motorcycle no more, I'm a generator. Why? Because when you find out about E equals MC squared, now you running, and you create, you generating. You generating <laughs> radiation, not right. electricity. Right. Remember, I'm, we not electric, we not tricked. So we generating real power. Absolutely. Which is basically the Holy Spirit. Give him that one more time, Ish, if you can if you can find that Proverbs yeah. 23, 7. Uh, Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, 
but his heart is not with thee. Yeah, as a man think it, man. Do think tank, do think tank already active. But in order for you to activate your your think tank, you gotta have provoked thought. Do you know who Epstein Un is? Epstein Un is at three 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 Jefferson and um Pittsburgh. Not no Jefferson. It's on the corner of Jefferson. You got Ogden over there. Pittsburgh. Okay, look, it's on the corner of Jefferson Ohio. at three three three. I, I, it's at, I, I'll pull it. Uh, it doesn't matter. Epstein, boom. They the, they the architects who built Pfizer Forum, and they the architects who built the building that Don Trey Hamilton got shot in front of. Epstein, boom. Yeah, that's the. Uh... Them, the what's the first, what's the name Epstein? That's your guy, ain't it? Epstein is the that's that ain't the same one related to the to the right. See, Epstein Un Architects. That yeah. Epstein yeah. Un Architects. This is who, and it's purple, as you know, I visit them. They they write down by Summerfest. We walked past that yesterday. Look, this is what I said. I said, this is Epstein Un. These are the people who built Pfizer for them. The white people was looking at me like, huh? They Twenty ain't even cents. Else. Yeah, we gonna let your dad. Finish but no, I, I, okay, I'm gonna finish this up. Yeah, I want to show time. him this. So, Epstein Un, um, right? God. Watch this. Look like you tired over that black I'm deep. <laughs> right, I still got some more work to do before I go. Yep, that's it on the scripts, too. Yeah, that's yeah. it on the scripts, yeah. So, we just going yeah. Brothers and sisters, we're getting ready to close it out. My bro in the lab looking up something he want to share with y'all. You know, Einstein. Oh, I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and close it up. Because I was looking for the architects okay. when it's not. It was HKS out of Houston. Got it. Okay. So I'm. this one was done by HKS out of Houston. and But most of them ones downtown was Epstein Um. But Pfizer oh, Forum. Right there. That right. Was, yeah, Pfizer okay. Forum is Epstein Um. So okay. they responsible for building Pfizer Forum at 333 over there on. on um, so at three three three, so three 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 Chicago. So Chicago and Jefferson got it is okay. where Epstein Un Architects is. These great drink motherfuckers, they will work your brain around in circles. These the motherfuckers who built Pfizer for them. These not no motherfucking punk ass motherfuckers, man. These motherfuckers is twisted screws. Listen, bro, you don't want to be in the room with these motherfuckers, man. Unless your shit together. If you some dumb nigga sitting up in that room, you finna leave out that room looking dumb as hell. They finna be the made all type of goddamn fun of you. Damn. Is that deep? Uh, well, when somebody's that much smarter than you, it ain't that hard to make a fool out you while you sitting right there. Right, because you don't even know. Bro, what look what they, they made Pfizer for them. They sitting down there on Chicago and Jefferson poor laughing dog. like a motherfucker. Like, damn, dog, nobody even brought this shit up except for that one crazy guy. But fuck him. Like, basically what you're saying is we architect a nigger joke, something that was easy to do, and motherfuckers are looking at it like it's fabulous, but it's a nigger joke. It's disrespectful. It's a mock. We pulled it off. And only one motherfucker really making noise about it. And that's me. Because I'm making noise about that. Oh, All shit. on this shit. But yeah, sorry about that. We gonna go ahead and get up out of here, but because we was, you know, we was just flowing and stuff, talking. But call hello, you me how about Hashem, you how shy by Hashem Rakadash, Shalawam to all the aqua and Akiam keep pushing. Yes, I know I said some crazy things. But bro And I might not even be right, but guess what? I do a lot of research and spiritual jazz. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not in trance with the worries of this world. Trust me. Right. Uh, Shalom. Shalom.